This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that The Fosters is among the best TV series ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Rudolph Walker played the character Andrew Henderson in the series when he was 37 in 1976. See, at the age of 84, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in San Juan, Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah. <laughs> Look, sugar plum. Maybe we ought to find another house. No, we're staying here. It's you wait until I get back to the studio next year. <laughs> You know, at a time like this, I imagine you got to thank your mother, your father, your uncle, your aunt. Stephanie Cole played the character receptionist in the series when she was 36 in 1977. See, at the age of 82, she's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Solihull, UK. Ah, the classic menopausal male. Menopausal. You see the world <laughs> as a giant bedroom full of demanding females. The simple truth is that midlife crisis I think we're getting better at roles for, for people who aren't 18. Or is it's a it... bloody slow process, is if it? that's the case. Yes, it yeah. really is. I mean, first of all, you know... It... Lenny Henry played the character Sonny Foster in the series when he was 18 years old in 1976. See, at the age of 65, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Worcestershire, England. Listen, Mum, I've got to talk to you. You see, times are changing. Things are more free and easy today. And, no, that's not going to work. Impressions <laughs> on my front doorstep. If you want to come in this house and eat chicken, rice and peas and jerk gravy, you better do the impressions right now. <laughs> Oscar James played the character Errol in the series when he was 34 years old in 1976. See, at the age of 81, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Trinidad and Tobago. This is to receive, and this is to send. It's as simple as that. Hmm? Where? The doctor's. I'll give you a lift. No, love. You're not even dressed. I'll be fine. Norman Beaton played the character Samuel Foster in the TV series when he was 42 in 1976. Sadly, on December 13, 1994, he left us due to illness at 60 years old in Georgetown, Ghana. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Look, tell me calmly before a burst of blood vessel. When I went away, I left you in charge of four houses. You haven't sold them by any chance. Because whenever she come back, she used to bring one set of five pound note. I never see so much money in my life. I used to go out and spend and spend and spend and still the Patty Bouley played the character Charlotte in the series when she was 22 in 1976. See, at the age of 69, she's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Midwestern region, Nigeria. Oh. Well, what do you do, talking to sleep or did you read his pockets? He had 50,000 wrapped in his belt. I figured he wouldn't miss one or two. How do you know? I believe it's very on show business anyway, but what happened was even on in the stage magazine, it would say white. Carmen Monroe played the character of Vilma in the series when he was 44 in 1976. See, at the age of 91, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Burbis, British Guiana. Need plenty of help. When are you moving in properly? Next Friday, we hope. We've done most of our packing. My husband's got his transfer to Euston Station. He works for British Rail. It's the way I was brought up, the way I was educated. That is what sustained me. I didn't feel dependent. Wherever I was, I felt... Pat Ashton played the character Mildred in the series when she was 46 in 1977. Sadly, on June 23, 2013, she left us due to heart attack at 82 in this Norfolk, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Couldn't you learn to love me? <laughs> love you? <laughs> See, I'm a woman! Isabel Lucas played the character Pearl Foster in the series when she was 49 in 1976. 
Sadly, on February 24, 1997, she left us due to illness at 69 in Kingston Pond, Thames, England. We are deeply saddened by her passing. Oh, we're really going up in the world. <laughs> Two years ago, we were 3% of the population. Now we're up to 11%. Irene Handel played the character Mrs. Draper in the series when she was 76 in 1977. Sadly, on November 29, 1987, she left us due to cancer at 85 in Kensington, London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. In there nearly half an hour. <laughs> I wonder if that little devil is not to something after all. I wouldn't put it past her. John Barron played the character Mr. Hutt in the series when he was 56 in 1976. Sadly, on July 3, 2004, he left us of natural causes at 83 in Watford, Hertfordshire, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. This project, The Pigeon Woman, has put in a pretty favorable report. I didn't get where I am today without knowing a favorable report when I read one. Great. Super. So the next thing to do... Frank Singano played the character Reverend Bradford in the series when he was 63 in 1976. Sadly, on September 11, 1992, he left us due to cancer at 79 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. John Lyons played the character Arthur in the series when he was 34 in 1977. See, at the age of 80, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in White Chapel, London, UK. Wait, yeah. but I thought afterwards, not a good idea. Yeah. And quite a few people said, no, it was so good, it would be a shame to go back. Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in The Fosters? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.